Hello everyone. Welcome back to the course syndicate. In this video, we will be discussing about factors in Rust. So, without wasting time, let's begin. Factors are resizable arrays. That means size of an factor is unknown at compile time. So, we can say that factors are stored in heap which makes vectors different from arrays as we know arrays are of fixed size and hence the size of an array is known to compiler and is being saved in the stack. Vectors are growable and shrinkable at any time. How vectors are in heap. First, the program allocates a fixed size memory in heap. The amount of reserved memory is greater than the total size of the vector. This is because at any time the elements inside a vector can increase, thus increasing the size of the vector. Let's understand this with this example. Assume we have a vector with five elements E1, E2, E3, E4. Each element of size 4 kb. Now, size of the vector becomes 20 kb. The program allocates 30 kb memory for this vector. Keeping in mind that extra elements can be added to this vector. Now, this means we can add two more elements in this vector. But the question arises what happens when we add one more element thereafter? Let's have a look on the mat. Part. We have 4 elements of 5 kb each, which makes it 20 kb. As we are adding 2 more elements of the same size, it will become 30 kb, which is equal to the allocated memory to the given vector. Now, the moment we add one more element, the vector is relocated in a new location in the memory with a larger capacity. Have a look on this diagram for a better understanding. How to declare a vector? We can declare a vector in two ways. Number one, using vector new method. This method initiates an empty vector for us and elements can be added thereafter. For example, let vector num. Now, this vector num is the name of this variable, the data type for this variable. That will be a vector of i32 equals vector double colon new. This code initiates a vector of i32 data type. That means only i32 type of data can be added to this vector. So this is the first method that we can declare an vector. Second method is the macro method. Let's remove this code and declare a vector using macro. Let vector num equal vector macro. Let's add 2, 3, 4, and 5. Here, this code creates a vector of 
numbers by default of type i32. Now let's print this vector. Let's run this code. Cargo run. Now you can see two, three, four, and five. Accessing an element inside a vector. We can fetch an element of a vector by index. For example, num equals. Here we are accessing elements of index one of this vector. Here you can see this two is at index zero and three is at the index one. Now let's print this num to see if we get the correct result or not. Let's run the code. Here you can see we have got p. The second method to access an element in a vector is using the get method. This is as easy as getting the elements using the index. Just we need to add dot get method and the index of the number. Get the index p. Here you can see we have this option type as a return value for this operation. We will talk about options later. For now, let's unwrap this. Let's run the code. Here you can see we have got five. So here index zero, index one, index two, and index three. Now let's see how we can update a vector. First, let's see how we can add elements in a vector. Uh, before this, we need to add this mute keyword to make this variable mutable. I have already talked about this mute keyword in the previous parts of my video. If you are not aware of this, do check my previous videos in this playlist. Now, to add elements in this vector, we need to call this push method. Now let's say we need to add element 7 in this vector. So put the number 7. Now let's run the code with the output. Here you can see 7 is added successfully. Now to remove an element we have this remove method. Inside this remove we need to add the index of the element of which we want to remove from this vector. So let's say we want to remove this 4 from this vector. So 0, 1, and 2. The index of this element 4 is 2. Now let's run the code. Here you can see the element 4 is removed. So this was it for this video. In next video, we'll discuss about has map so till then stay tuned and thanks for watching this video